Hey everybody, so I have seen a lot of talk still around running your own LLM and spinning it up on your own server or on your own computer and a lot of people talking about this concept as if it's still kind of like a unicorn. Uh, and a lot of people are saying that it does exist. I write multiple articles showing that it does exist, but uh, I haven't seen a lot of people talking about how they actually do it. So I decided to just make a really quick video and show you guys exactly uh, how to run your own LLM on a very simple setup. So very first thing is uh, just going to, you can go to GitHub uh, in this instance. Uh, and then uh, in this instance, I'm using the 7B models. So when you take a look, you'll see different models. You'll see like 7B or 33B, uh, anything like that. So when we're talking our, our uh, like running it on a uh, personal computer or a home computer or a very simple setup, we're gonna be wanting to look for 7B models. <clears throat> and 7B is 7 billion, 7 billion parameters. Uh, and that means that it's on like the uh, smaller end of the models that we would be uh, looking for. Uh, and then so we go to GitHub and then from here we can get the code. Uh, and then in this instance, I'm using Google Colab, but I could use my own personal computer. I could spin up a Jupyter notebook. I could spin this all up on my own, but in this, it's just, uh, easier just to, to use Google Colab and it doesn't use my computer's resources. Uh, and it allows me, like, very specifically, it allows me to film this video uh, and not have it take up my computer resources, which this would be sucking down my resources, uh, either one of these things. So I can do both of them for you at the same time. Uh, but so within Google Colab, this is a free Colab uh, environment. So it's the, the most base environment that I could possibly set up. So this environment is probably actually worse spec than my computer because I have a pretty high end uh, personal PC personally. But so it, you can see the code is really straightforward. I've already set up and I ran the code because it, it takes a few minutes to run it. You can see that it took about 37 seconds to initialize. It's about like two or three minutes. And I didn't want everyone to like, there's no reason to just sit through the initialization process. But if you know Python, it's all Python and it really straightforward, <laughs> literally just run the code or input the code, run the code, that's it. Uh, and then just run the code in sequence. You can see that this is the main one. That, like, uh, and then I hadn't run this code in a while, so I even had some errors in the code. It was able to update, it updated the model. Uh, and then now here, it's just the input text. I was talking a little bit to Alpaca right before this. Uh, and then I just, let's say, um, here, let's ask it flat out. Hi, Alpaca. Would you like to say anything to YouTube? And then we just run the code. It'll take in a, se a second or two. It's it's uh, so it's a, a 7B model, so it's a smaller model. But then again, it's running on a very simple hardware, and it already returned a response. Uh, I would love to tell them about my favorite videos and how much I, wa I enjoy watching them on their side. Uh, Alpaca is awesome. So let's see. That's awesome, Alpaca. What is one of your favorite videos? And let's just see what kind of response it gets. And then you can see this is how simple and easy it is. I, again, so this isn't a unicorn. I'm running this on my own systems. My own, it's my own network. It's not leaving my network at all. I know that's a. <laughs> uh, I know that that's a uh, big thing for a lot of people uh, is <clears throat> when they want to install this or they're thinking of installing an, an LLM is having it only on their network. So you can do that. You can run uh, Alpaca 7B, Vicuna 7B, uh, all at Llama 7B, all from your own personal network. So at any company, any individual could do this, but from a, a corporate level, there's literally no reason at all anymore within the status quo why any company that exists shouldn't sit an LLM model on top of their data lake. Uh, and that's where I essentially envision all of this going and the technology moving in, in that direction into essentially something like this, where you just have 
your LLM model uh, and then a very beautiful setup where you have all of your systems flow directly into a data lake and then you have your LLM directly on top uh, that is running and your this LLM that's directly on top is running remote just like Alpaca is in this instance or, or running sorry uh, on site and, and like within your own network uh, just like this Alpaca model is uh, and then it's sitting on that database and then asking and retrieving any information whatsoever that you would like from this database from any of these systems. If I wanted to ask it about uh, information from the ERP plus information from the ESP plus information from the CRM plus website information and plus PPC information, it would be able to do all of those things even if it was an individual question from each one of those individual systems. Uh, and the the immense power that you can get just by doing that, by just simply sitting an LLM like Alpaca here on top of your, your systems, uh, business systems is just extraordinary. Uh, and so uh, the cost is, as well isn't a factor. And that's what people don't understand yet. That's something the market does not understand. I'm running all of this for free on the free version of Google Colab on a computer that is worse than my personal setup that I have uh, and my personal desktop is like a, a $700 desktop. Uh, so uh, overall like the, the technology is a lot cheaper than people think that it is. It's The technology is available. Uh, it's just a matter of people knowing about it knowing that you can actually do this because I see the question come up so many times which is why I'm making this video hey does anyone actually has anyone actually spun up uh, their own uh, LLM model on their own personal computer or their own personal network well you're looking at one right now and you have this entire video you can see how easy it is this isn't pretty uh, I could make this a lot prettier I could spend all of my time building a GUI interface around this, but this is the, the three minute version of how easy it is to do this. If you want to be up and running within three minutes, here you are, you're up and running within three minutes. If you want to spend a month after this making uh, this absolutely glorious for your employees and having it like actually look pretty and have an interface in, in front of it and all of those things, you can absolutely do that. But you can have this up and running literally within three minutes. Uh, I hope everyone enjoys this video and I hope you're starting to see at this point how disruptive uh, this technology is going to be just overall there's no uh, there's when Google says that they have no moat this is what Google's talking about because this technology right now is an elimination of moats uh, everyone should be doing this I don't know why why businesses aren't jumping on this all day long uh, hope you enjoyed the video and please like and subscribe thank you very much